Are you concerned about cattle dying from botulism? Hi, I'm Gary Zona from Ag Solutions. And in this video, we're going to be discussing botulism and some prevention strategies. Botulism is a disease that can have a serious economic impact on your business, with outbreaks sometimes resulting in massive herd losses. Now, the disease is caused by the bacteria Clostridium botulinum, which grows in decomposed organic matter, and all animals are predisposed to the condition if they happen to eat toxin-containing food. Clostridial bacteria produce long-lived spores, and that ensures their survival in the environment, and the germ that produces botulism will only grow when moisture and warmth are present, and when there's a restriction in oxygen supply. Conditions ideal for the growth of Clostridium botulinum are provided by mouldy hay, chaff, silage, decomposing grass, dead carcasses, and in water where carcasses or other organic matter are present. An interesting fact about the botulinum toxin is that it's reported as being one of the most potent toxins known to mankind, as only a minuscule dose is required to be fatal. Nearly all cases of botulism are caused by animals ingesting the established toxin, with outbreaks having occurred throughout Australia and are often associated with bone chewing, eating feed or water that's been contaminated by rotting organic matter, or by animals being fed spoiled feed. In cattle, the first signs of botulism are usually loss of appetite. They stop ruminating, they stagger when they try to walk, and once the animal goes down, it typically lies on its briskest with its hind legs stretched out behind it. Cattle affected with botulism do not develop a fever, and they do not respond to the treatment for other causes of downer cow syndromes like milk fever and three-day sickness. To help prevent outbreaks of botulism in your herd, you need to correct any dietary deficiencies in grazing animals. Botulism is often a secondary disease resulting from a long-term phosphorus deficiency that causes animals to chew bones and have a depraved appetite. Other preventative measures that should be considered are removing livestock access to possible contaminants such as carcasses, spoiled feed and even decaying grass. Effective vermin control measures should be undertaken during the preparation and storage of feed products. In addition to mineral supplementation, an effective long-term strategy in the prevention of botulism is giving stock the botulism vaccine. Whenever possible, cattle should be vaccinated well before suspected risk periods and like all vaccines, they require boosters to be given to maintain protective levels of immunity. In known phosphorus deficient areas or where circumstances like bone chewing occur, phosphorus supplementation is critical. We certainly recommend a mineral supplementation, but in those situations, we are also targeting a higher phosphorus component. Products like the Megamin Phos 8 are products we recommend because at 8% phosphorus means at 100 grams per head per day, we're delivering eight grams of phosphorus. So one of the key strategies for preventing a botulism outbreak is to prevent bone chewing and those sorts of conditions through adequate phosphorus and mineral supplementation. If you'd like more information, please contact us through our website, agsolutions.com.au. And don't forget to ask at your preferred real store for Megamin Phosphorus Supplements and even consult your real stores about botulism vaccinations. Ag Solutions, helping Australia grow.